Hey there everyone. So today I wanted to tell you about a little something new that I decided to try this week. So um, I think it was last week I did the live post about how I think I finally fixed my hip. <laughs> um, and I say think because I actually did kind of aggravate it a little bit this week. So I know things are not 100% fixed, but I do know I'm on the right track, so that's good. So um, obviously as you know and from past uh, posts that I do dance, that I am part of a professional dance troupe, a belly dance troupe. And one of my aspiring goals that I've had for like years now <laughs> is to be able to get my splits back from when I was like a kid. And I wasn't super good with that when I was younger, but like around age 12, age 13, I had a right split and a center split pretty much down. Never got the left split, but like it was always like kind of cool to know that even though I wasn't a serious dancer back then, that like at least I could do it. So um, anyways, last year for 2021, I had as a New Year's resolution that I wanted to be able to get my splits back. And I didn't, and it was mainly because of my hip. And I spent a good portion last year researching hip stretches and hip openers and doing yoga hip openers and, and things like that, and just trying to do good things for my hip. And in, in the process, I was able to help other people, and it was, it was cool because um, I also learned that it's such a widespread problem, mainly from people like sitting and just having their, their hip flexor in kind of like a like a this kind of position for so long. But anyways, uh, that's a little bit off topic. So um, so seeing as things are going a lot better and um, I've changed my lifestyle in a way that doesn't aggravate it anymore, I, I kind of wanted to get back to that goal this year. And um, a lot of the big question was, well, how am I going to do it? So I have a yoga subscription, um, a subscription to the app Daily yoga, yoga. I love it. It's really, really good, but I don't use it nearly as much as I should. And they've got splits programs, but they're not very long. Um, through my online uh, poll subscription that I have, there's a 30-day flexibility challenge on there too, but I don't feel like it pushes me as much as I want to. I want it to be a little bit more consistent, fewer full rest days, that kind of thing. So I, I like it, but like... I'm a little bit more driven than that, I guess. <laughs> now, I don't want to push myself. I don't want it to be like super crazy stuff every single day, uh, but like... I want it to be a little bit more intense than that. Um, about a year and a half ago, I downloaded an app called 30 Days to Splits or whatever, and it was like a beginner, intermediate, and difficult setting. It was an app, and it was not very personalized. <laughs> Didn't show you very much for modifications. It just it just gave you like this mixed bag of different exercises each day, and it gave you a rest day every four days. But again, rest days to me should be a little bit more of like maintaining and just not pushing yourself, you know, and then like one full rest day a week. That's kind of what I wanted. So uh, the research continued and I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure something, I'll, I'll find something, you know, and over the weekend I did find what I was looking for. I found this program called Hyperbolic Stretching and uh, it's uh, done up by this guy. I, I guess he's uh, he, he's European. I can't quite place his accent, and <laughs> maybe Swiss or something like that. I don't know. Kind of a cool accent, and like he's got some pretty good flexibility for a dude. That's for sure. <laughs> I always admire when males can definitely get down into a split because it's just not something you see that often. So um, so I looked into the program and the testimonials were, looked really good. Not that you can always believe testimonials, but like what I saw, I liked. And um, I liked the, the way that it was broken up. It was like a six day out of seven day thing, but like it was only eight minutes. That was important too, because I needed something that was efficient with time. That was the other problem about the app was that sometimes you'd be working out and stretching only for like 40 minutes. And that just like felt too much. It was too much on my hip for sure. But eight minutes, okay, that's cool. And it was, it was graded so that like one week you do um, like... Here, I'll just tell you what the format is. Monday, front splits. Tuesday, middle splits. Wednesday, front. Thursday, middle. Friday, front. Saturday, middle. Sunday, off. And then you're actually done with that series of videos, and you're on to like a week two, and then a week three. I think those are the same. And then like week four and on um, is like more the advanced. So it like progresses you through, but like alternates, and it's only eight minutes, and I like that. So, I gave it a try. I started it on Monday, <laughs> so I like, kind of made up a little program for myself according to their recommended, um, their, their recommended uh, way of breaking up the days. Monday went awesome, and actually my hips felt great. <laughs> um, Tuesday was the middle splits one. 
and I definitely pushed myself too hard. I was in pain for like the whole day. <laughs> so like that was evidence to me that, okay, you're not all healed. <laughs> you can't completely do everything yet. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give up here. I'm gonna go back to it on Thursday and I'll just take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yesterday actually went really well. I felt even better than Monday because the front split stuff, you know, those stretches are focusing on moving your muscles differently and your joints differently. So like apparently those movement patterns were not irritating me. So then I got back to the middle split one today and I was like, okay, so we're not going to go in deeply. I'm going to really pay attention to my body and I'm, I'm just going to go a lot more gently. I'm going to embrace the feeling of the stretch and not the range of motion. No pain. And hopefully that will continue the rest of the day. Normally, uh, the further on the day wanes and the closer through the evening I, I get, the more pain I get. So, you know, obviously that'll be the big, the big indicator of whether or not I actually approached this correctly. And that's the takeaway that I want you to get out of this video, is that when you're, when you have this goal and you think you found the right way to get there, Sometimes there is a such thing as too much and in order to figure that out so that you are aware of what too much is, you pay attention less to what's happening on that screen or what you're being told to do and you pay attention to more to what you're doing. And as I, I get into more situations with that and I think about more and more how that applies to clients of mine, I think about what to tell them and how to get them to start thinking that way too because it's way, way better for yourself. For example, for workouts, um, so I've got a TRX strap hanging from the ceiling down here, and <laughs> if you've been in my basement, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, the cats like to play with it too, it's funny. But I, I really enjoy TRX because it forces me to be super hyper aware of what's happening to my posture, my form, my core, the muscle group that I'm working. It's, I just feel like I get a lot out of it just simply because I can pay attention. And if I don't, it's gonna hurt, or I'm gonna do something stupid, or my form is gonna feel sloppy, you know? So if you've ever tried TRX, um, it's basically you have the straps hanging down and then you like, oh, like you kind of put yourself at an angle and then pull yourself up like that. Like here, I could probably flip my camera around actually. It's that thing hanging from the ceiling right by my water tank, yeah. Okay, there we go. But anyways, so um, so I like TRX because it forces me to feel that. So lately, when I've been using that as an upper body workout, I usually use it for upper body. Um, I I do enough reps. I like don't even count my reps. I do enough reps so that I can start to feel the fatigue on my muscles, and then I count between three and four more than that, and then I stop. Because I understand that my body is going to adapt over time, and I know I'm going to be able to get more reps um, at that intensity level. So I like look for that familiarity and intensity, and then I just push myself only a few reps more than that. Okay, because over time my body is going to adapt, but I'm not pushing myself to pain. I am not pushing myself to extreme fatigue. I basically can figure I am not going to get joint pain after that. Um, which has been a problem with me in the past, especially with machines, um, and I am probably not going to have any muscle soreness. Fatigue, yes. Fatigue is good. You want to feel that fatigue, but you do not want to feel pain, okay? <laughs> that is important. We're not young anymore, super young. You can't expect to really bounce back from that super quickly. You know, I don't want to lose the time because I'm waiting for my muscles to feel okay again, <laughs> you know? I deal with that enough in pole. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, for the TRX, that's kind of one of my takeaways for that, what I like, you know, but that can all be applied to a different type of workout as well, you know, what if you're doing, let's go with push-ups, I know we all hate push-ups, but it's just one of those ones that we can picture really quickly, if you're doing push-ups, let's say you can, let's say you can do three, okay, <laughs> but like, that fourth one, oh, that's tough, you can muscle through it, okay, fine, five, okay, maybe I can muscle through that, that's really, really tough, I'm not gonna do six, but what if, you know, you approach that again, and you know maybe that fifth one's better, that sixth one's still hard. What if a couple days later you try it again? You can do that sixth one, but doing a seventh one is hard. Isn't that still progress? So, you know, these are just the takeaways that I want you to notice that it's not always about what the sets and reps are that somebody is telling you to do. It's about what's feeling correct for your body, okay? And, um, and even though stretching is different than sets, reps, 
there is some strength involved, but it is just a different approach. The you know just uh, experiencing on Tuesday that pain from pushing myself to falling into that trap from before to the totally different approach from today and actually getting what I wanted out of the program was just a big difference and I thought that would be really good advice to give today on live just you know in case with whatever your fitness routine is or your strength workouts or whatever just don't lose sight of that because it really is pretty important okay all right so just some words of wisdom for today enjoy the rest of your day weekend's coming bye now